Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So first of all, I'm sorry about how I look. It is Monday morning and when I turn the camera around and show you the weather, like you will understand because <laughs> It was ridiculously hard to get out of bed this morning, like it is getting harder and harder every day to get out of bed now, but six weeks till Christmas today, so I'm just using that as motivation. But today I'm gonna to film a what I eat in a day, and like I said, it's Monday, so it's work day, so it's just gonna be a very typical day. I am trying to eat healthy at the moment, so I'm, yeah, I'm trying my hardest, but that's just not always the case every day. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep this as realistic as possible, and in terms of breakfast, to be honest, I do struggle to eat breakfast a lot of the time. A lot of time I'm just not hungry when I wake up. I am trying to at the moment, but it's pretty boring. I just usually stick with a banana or a slice of toast. Um, I also want to talk to you about Protein World very soon in this video because I love Protein World and they kindly sent me some products. I think I've probably talked about them before in a vlog or what I eat in a day, but honestly, I use their products so much. I just love them. They're an excellent way of getting extra protein in. So I'm going to show that with you um probably on my lunch break and show my discount code and everything like that and i probably will also use some of the products without this throughout this video but i think for breakfast i'm actually just gonna grab a banana from my fruit bowl because it's quick i'm actually running late for work um luckily i do work like really close to my home um but it's still not at home so i do have to go out in the rain which is oh like i actually can't bring myself to do it but yeah at the moment i've just been having a banana and my all time favourite smoothie, which is this, and don't get me wrong, I do not usually buy this because I'm an Audi person through and through and stuff like that is very expensive. Um, but I actually went to Sainsbury's shopping this week because I had a deal where if I spend, I think it was £70, I get £10.50 off. So again, I don't even usually spend £60, well it's £59.50, but I don't usually even spend that. I usually spend between 40 and 50 at Audi, but I thought whilst I've got that offer, I'm going to go and do like a big food shop. So I stocked up on like cleaning products, toilet roll, kitchen roll, like all the stuff that you kind of like have to get every now and then. And I also thought I'd treat myself to some more like luxurious items. So I picked up this um, and it is so good. It's got guava, pineapple, apple and blue spirulina i have no idea what that is but it tastes good so yeah it's also obviously really healthy so i'm trying to get as much fruit and vegetable in as i can at the moment so i'm gonna have a glass of that and a banana um and then head to work um and then i'll catch up with you on my lunch break we'll spend some time together and i'll keep vlogging like after work and stuff so this will be like a vlog as well i'm really excited to show you guys my dinner you've probably seen it all over tiktok but i'm really excited to make that with you guys so yeah hope you enjoy this video and i will see you on my lunch break Right guys, I'm now on my lunch and I think I know what I'm gonna make. I mean, it's not really that healthy, but it's not too bad. I think I just feel like something really warm. I've had really, like yesterday I had soup. Um, I don't really fancy soup today though. So I think I'm gonna have just beans on toast. Like sometimes I just really fancy like really wholesome, simple meals like that. So I think I'm gonna have some beans on toast. I've got really nice like thick bread at the moment and it's just so good. So I'm gonna have that with some beans. Um, Sorry, I'm just looking at a fly that's really annoying me. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I'm also on my lunch break. So I like to have quite productive lunch breaks. So I think I'm going to carry on sorting out my spare room. I've been doing like a massive declutter the last couple of weeks um, and been putting like loads and loads of stuff on vintage. So I think I actually put my vintage in the description of this video just in case you want to check anything out because honestly, I'm just like deep clearing out my whole house. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to carry on with the spare room. On my lunch break, so maybe I'll show you some of that as well, but I mean, it's not that interested. It's just clothes I'm putting on vintage. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for my lunch break. I'm also actually, I'm gonna quickly show you now the stuff from Protein World because I'm so excited to show you guys this. Okay, so I was very kindly sent a big box of goodies and I think I've actually got another box coming on the way for this month as well. So I'll probably show you that in another vlog. But yeah, they sent me out a bunch of stuff and I'm so excited to try it. Some of it I've already tried. Some of it. I think Dan's already used as well. So for Dan, I just put him some more protein, which he's already used. He said this was really good. This is the milk chocolate flavor, um, and it's in a massive pack. Um, yeah, it's just whey protein. Um, I got one of these for my mum, one for me. So it's basically, oh god, it's getting annoying. It's basically like the, it's called Juicy Way. It's basically like a clear way. So instead of having like a protein shake in like a milkshake form, you can have it in like squash basically, which is definitely how I prefer to have it. In fact, I think I might have a glass of this in a bit. Um, I got it in the apple and raspberry twist flavor. I got it for my mum in the orange and mango flavor. So it's just this. Um, it's really good. I've also tried their pre-workout, which also is in a similar tub to that. That is really good as well. 
the granola. My dad's tried this already. Like literally my whole family just love it as well. Um, so yeah, this is a slender granola. So it's like basically got like less fat, more, low sugar, um, high fiber, more protein and stuff than just general granola. Um, so that's again, it's in a massive bag. And then this is probably the thing I'm most excited to try, um, slender waffle mix. I've tried the pancake mix. Um, I think I've got some more pancake mix coming next month as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. But I think tonight after dinner, we'll try making these. Um, I haven't had waffles in ages as well. I was trying to think if I have anything with it. I have like bananas I could put on top of it. That's probably it. Maybe we'll have to get some stuff. Although Dan's got my car all week, so probably not. We'll just have to have banana waffles. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Obviously, yeah, it's like high in protein, low calorie, low sugar. Um, so just basically a way to get like a something that you think is unhealthy, but in like a healthy way. They also do like pizza mix. Um, like protein pizza, so they honestly they do so many products. I'll leave a link to their website in the description box. And I'll also leave my discount code in the description box as well in case you do want to buy any of the products. Um, then you can save some money. So yeah, I'm really happy that they sent me that. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to try these products. Like I said, I will try a couple. I will try some of them on this video. Um, but if not, you'll just see them throughout my vlog. Um, because like I said, I do just use them a lot anyway. So you'll you'll spot them in vlogs if you watch vlogs yeah really happy with all that all those products but for now let's make wholesome beans on toast i'm gonna get i actually have it's the little things in life guys because stuff like this just makes me happy that i the fact that i have like a slidey drawer for my tins like it actually makes me ridiculously happy so oh yeah i treated myself to some heinz beans oh do i have them now though or i actually have spaghetti rings Oh, I'm pretty sure I even have, yeah, spaghetti rings with sausages. I might have them. Oh, that sounds good. I'm just going to make this and then um, I'll leave with you guys. <laughs> is really not the most flattering angle at all but I don't know where else I can put you when I'm at my dinner table um but I just wanted to quickly talk about Christmas has anyone got their Christmas tree up yet because it is taking everything in me not to put it up like Dan I don't know why he's been such a like a what's it called a Scrooge or a Grinch either one like I don't know why he's being so negative about Christmas like surely it's better to be decorating earlier like it's more festive right so like i think if you don't start celebrating christmas in november by the time you start celebrating it's over anyway so i kind of want to put up our decorations but i think last year we did in the last weekend in november which i need to check what the date of that would be i think it'd probably be like the 26th or something like that 25th 26th yeah so 20 i think around the 25th 26th i think that's actually kind of late but that's the earliest Dan will let me put it up. So yeah, comment down below if you've already got yours up or when you think like the perfect time for Christmas decorations up is. My parents don't put it up until like two weeks before Christmas. Honestly, when I was like living with them, I was like, what? Like you put it up for two weeks and then it's like, why go to all that effort to put something up to literally just take it down again two weeks later? I like, nah, I can't be doing that. Um, I remember last year, my parents even decorated on like, they didn't have a Christmas tree up until Christmas Eve. I mean, to be fair, they were like moving house and renovating and stuff but still that's bad isn't it so yeah i feel like 25th 26th of november perfect timing yeah i can't wait to do that i'm gonna be filming vlogmas filming all that i'm so excited but yeah comment down below when you think the perfect time to put a christmas tree up is or if you've already put it up or not because yeah i need to convince dan to do it a little bit earlier <laughs> Hi guys, all right, I just finished work, but I thought I'd quickly show you because the rest of my protein world order came. Um, so I've got another big box and I've actually already given my mum something and my sister. So my mum ordered the Slender Blend in the flavour white chocolate and raspberry. So she's really excited to try that. And then I also got just the original flavour pancakes for my sister. I did get pancakes for me as well. Um, these are in vanilla chocolate chip flavour, so I'm really excited to try these. Hopefully I will get a chance to make it on this video. If not, it will just be in another vlog. Um, but yeah, these look so good. They're only 187 calorie and yeah, it says they're low calorie, high protein and delicious. So I'm really excited to try them. I also got down a, another massive whey protein. I know he's still got quite a lot of the one left that I showed you um, earlier, the chocolate one. But I might as well order him another one. This is in the cookies and cream flavour. 
Um, so yeah, can't wait to own that when he gets home. And then I also topped up on the Slender Pizza Mix. So this is basically just, it makes pizza dough that's high in protein, low sugar, low fat. Um, yeah, basically just healthier pizza. And then you can obviously just add the sauce cheese and toppings and stuff i like having this as like a really quick lunch or if i'm ever like home on my own like dan's not here then it's a really easy dinner um yeah love that so much thank you again protein world okay i'm just gonna chat to you from my bed oh wow look at this flattering angle sorry about this one guys um i'm in a bit of a predicament i'm not gonna lie this was definitely the wrong video to be filming today um i don't know like i didn't eat too bad so far but Basically, last night, me and my sister managed to secure Greg's Too Good To Go bags. We've been wanting a Greg's one for ages. In fact, we did get one on Sunday, and we drove all the way there, and they'd cancelled it, and we didn't realise, um, which we were actually, like, really, really gutted about. Um, but we managed to secure one last night, so the pickup for that is at 6.30. So we'd have to leave here at 6 um, to go get it. And then I'm like, I won't be able to make a dinner. I was going to make lasagna for dinner, um, but I'm not going to be able to make that and eat it before six because by the time Dan gets back from work, it just won't be possible. But then it's like, I probably won't get back from Greg's till quite late because my sister said that she's also, because my sister's going to drive. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, she's just going to take the lift. I mean, I usually I drive, so I'm excited that she wants to drive. Um, she said that she's going to get pizza for her and her partner. Um... And I am very easily swayed into unhealthy choices. So I'm kind of thinking, like, do I just get pizza as well and bring that back? Because then I can come back and just chill. But I'm also, like, oh, I don't want to eat unhealthy. And, like, I do have food in the fridge. So, I mean, it won't go to waste because it's not going out of date yet. And I can always put it in the freezer anyway. Um, so it's, it won't go to waste. It's just I'm thinking, like, should I be spending money on pizza when I've just, you know, I've I've stopped my fridge and obviously also it's unhealthy but then I'm also thinking by the time I get home am I going to want to stand up and cook a lasagna probably not I'm probably going to want to go to bed or I'm probably going to want to at least chill so I really don't know what to do guys but you'll I mean you'll find out but I feel really bad as well if I get pizza because I'm filming a what I eat in the day and I feel like whenever I watch these videos they're always really healthy and I'm like is it realistic though because it's like oh, I don't know I don't want to, I don't want to seem unhealthy, like, I don't want to, like, this isn't my everyday, it's so annoying, but it's just realistic, um, but yeah, apologies in advance if I do just get a pizza, because this video is just an absolute shambles, and there's basically no point of filming it, but I guess I, at least I've done a protein world haul, so, yeah, you'll find out, but yeah. I'll check in with you later when I decide, I'm going to wait for Dan to get home as well and see what he thinks, I don't think he's going to want pizza, He's better than I am at, like, making healthy choices, but then he's not the one who makes dinner, so it's easy for him to be like, oh, let's have a healthy dinner, because I'm like, yeah, but you're not the one that has to stand there for ages and make it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm going to see what he thinks when he gets home from work, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> I actually don't know why I'm bothering to keep this video going at this rate, because this has turned into a very unhealthy what I eat in a day, and I'm... <laughs> I'm probably not even going to be able to vlog the food, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I will show you what we get in our Greg's Too Good To Go bag because I am obsessed with what, like, looking on TikTok videos of, like, what people get in Too Good To Go bags. Like, it brings me a ridiculous amount of joy. Um, so, yeah, when I get back from Greg's, um, I'll show you what we get in there. Apparently, you're meant to get, like, £8 worth at least, I think. And it's £2.59 for the bag. So, it's a bit of a lucky dip. I feel like it's just a bit of fun. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, I mean, I'm sure Dan will eat it anyway because he's not fussy like me. So, I'm hoping... I'm going to say what my ideal situation... Why is it always flies every time I'm filming? Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you what my ideal situation would be in the Greg's bag, right? pizza slice i know i'm getting a pizza but i'm just telling you my uh, like go to like greg's not greg's order but like what i would like to be there so pizza slice gotta have a couple of sausage rolls in there do you know what i mean like it's just it's standard um yum yum what else mm, chicken bake i feel like that's ambitious that like i'm gonna get all of my favorite things but I'm probably going to end up with, like, tuna baguette sandwiches or something like that, but we will see. Um, but, yeah, I'm just about to leave now to go see if my sister's ready and she's going to drive us. That's good. I don't have to drive too far. Um, so, yeah, going to go do that and then I will next vlog showing you what's in my Greg's too good to go bag. I feel like I just need to rewind the clip because I literally just said what my dream too good to go bag would be before I left. Okay. He's been moody. doesn't want to see what's in it. 
Well, you don't clearly. All right, I'll show you afterwards. Right. First things first. So basically, you're meant to get about like eight pounds over eight pounds worth. Goodness, boys. Everyone is really aggravating me today. First thing, look at that little pudsy cookie. I don't know if it's got like jam or something in the middle. Try that in a bit. Then, yum yums. I literally said that would be my one of my oh, things. Yeah. Huh? You haven't got yum yums, have you? Yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and then, two packs of four sausage rolls. And the funny, the funniest thing is, my sister panic bought two too good, to, two too good to go bags, and they're packed the exact same. So she's got sixteen sausage rolls. Um, I don't know how she's going to eat all them. I think you probably can freeze these. I don't know. I'm hoping you can freeze these, but that's that's lunch sorted tomorrow, eh, Dad? So that was actually very worth two pound fifty nine. Literally, I can't believe that. That's so good. I wanted to get the pizza ideally, but no, do you know what? Beggars can't. No, you're never going to get that pizza. No, you might do. You never Beggars can't be choosers anyway. I'm pretty happy with what I got. Um, so this is your sign to do it because for two pound fifty nine, you get like nearly ten pounds worth of food, and you're obviously saving this food from just being chucked away. I don't actually know what they do with it, but I'm guessing they just chuck it away. Um, huh? I it. Yeah, I think they do bin it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's actually. A really good idea you can do them at so many places me and my sister always try and get a millie's cookie one um we haven't been successful in that one yet we got a Krispy cream one which was really good and this is our second one we've ever done you can do like aldi costa i think loads of places so if i do another one i'll probably make sure to vlog that but yeah pretty pleased with that right it's now the next day i'm just gonna end this atrocity of a video like i don't think i can even call it what i eat in a day because i filmed two meals and that was it but uh, do you know what it's still i feel like it's still worth posting because you can see the protein well products and also my too good to go bag from greg's um i know i didn't try any of the um protein well products but i'll probably do like reels on instagram or like tiktoks um maybe youtube shorts um on that or if you'd want to see like a whole video dedicated to like trying them out then i can obviously do that but um yeah, i'll leave my discount code in the description box and also just like the link to their website as well so if you do want to shop any of their products you can do that but yeah i'm just now editing this on my lunch break and it's meant to go live tonight so really organized this week if you can't tell um but yeah i hope you still enjoyed it somehow <laughs> if you did then please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next video which will hopefully be a bit more festive maybe i'm hoping to sort of start making the regular festive content now it's the 15th of november today so i feel like you know it's acceptable <laughs> to start doing festive content so yeah hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye